Hello everyone, it's Bashar. Uh, so I've been playing uh, Green Dawn quite a lot lately. Uh, that's why we haven't been very active on Path of Exile, actually. So, thing is, guys, with most ARPG games, the first time around you're playing uh, the uh, quest line is fine. It's fun and it's challenging and it's blah blah you know but with most ARPG games uh, after some time you look for something new and you want to make alternative characters alternative tunes and the leveling and the campaign parts start getting a little bit tiresome a little bit annoying and create entertainment the developers of Grim Dawn have managed to I think counter this issue by putting up a lot of stuff that makes leveling easier and much faster. Uh, I think I managed to get to level 100 in 10 hours of playtime. I think I'm not very sure because there was some AFK time, blah blah. So I wanted to share, guys, because uh, most of the stuff can be found on the internet of course or almost all but uh, every resource that I managed to find uh, overlooks one or the other so so guys this goes for everyone even if it's your first time playing uh, actively look for uh, lore notes uh, out of the way chests because those can drop lore notes as well because lore notes give you XP uh, just once no matter what the difficulty is and the XP is fixed so of course try to find as many as you can during your first play to get the most out of it because guys when your level is 200k a uh, 500 XP note will not do much but when the level is 10k a 500 XP note is worth 5% of the XP that's required for the next level and of course try to avoid dying obviously guys because in Grim Dawn you lose a XP every time you die even normal if you manage to pick up your corpse you get refunded half of the XP you lost I believe I'm not sure about the amount but it is around that for sure so guys after most of the tips in here will be towards uh, leveling with a second character guys so and not just leveling also reputations as well so guys when you uh, finish leveling your character you have to grind the reputations which you can see here I will explain in a sec most of you already know so thing is guys we grinding the reputation all over again for all of the factions here can of course be very tiresome indeed so uh, in order to grind the reputations guys when you are grinding the reputations uh, so there are first of all there are uh, four reputation levels you start at tolerated you get a bit of uh, reputation you reach friendly then uh, you reach respected and then you reach honored so normal where is it yeah okay <laughs> yeah so i think you need to gain like 2k or so reputation to friendly then if a little bit more to uh, respected then a little some more to honored and then 12k reputation is required from honored to revered guys thing is when you reach honor you can actually buy these with all factions uh, these give you a 50% reputation gain so even if it's your first character guys 
as soon as you reach honored you pay 80k and buy this writ and that will increase the reputation gain pace by 50 percent and after you reach revered you can actually buy the mandates that cost 12k much cheaper so these give 150 percent increase so what is the point of this it, you can uh, put it in the common stash and trade it with your other characters show so the, we have two kinds of stashes guys this is our personal stash and this one is our common stash so this stash can be accessed by all of our characters so I mean for example right now I can go buy all of the writs with this character and put it on stash and make a new character and that new character will have 150% increased reputation gain with all factions guys and that means you will reach revered uh, before you finish elite difficulty and that's by skipping some of the content we'll come to that so the problem is the negative reputations guys because as you can see there are uh, levels hostile then you reach despised and after you despise you reach hated and finally you reach nemesis and that's where we want to go uh, at despised we get some extra spawns at hated we get some additional hero spawns and finally at nemesis we will unlock nemesis spawns nemesis is a single monster i mean there are no different nemesis there's just one nemesis for each faction and it's a very very powerful mob uh, probably I mean it's around as hard as the final boss of the game and they got some nemesis throws and uh, when you kill those guys those nemesis throws have actually a chance of dropping warrants as you can see here that re uh, speeds up the infamy gain by a hundred percent and as you can see I only have two warrants so when you reach nemesis uh, with a certain faction guys you can farm their nemesis in order to get the warrants the warrants have like a 20 25 percent drop rate i think but of course some nemesis are uh, much harder to find because guys I mean the nemesis spawns uh, where that faction is in abundance so for example for undead it is Arkov in Undercity or Steps of Torment Steps of Torment uh, I think that's about it the undead one is quite easy to find uh, and the beast nemesis has been added to the game with the ashes of Malmoth expansion it only spawns in ashes of mammoth areas where we are in abundance Ugdenbog or uh, Gloomwald does it uh, but guys for example ethereals are horrible because they are all over the game and it can spawn everywhere and you cannot really look everywhere so you just uh, select some easier to reach positions that you can spawn in and check those and leave game and retry it and retry it and that's why I don't have the uh, warrant for ethereals because I haven't been able to find the ethereal nemesis I mean I have uh, the reputation on some of my characters but I have never been able to find it and as you can obviously see I have been killing the beasts and the undead ones quite a bit so that's for, that's it for the reputation guys so you go grind nemesis then uh, you grind, grind nemesis reputation then you grind the nemesis monsters and from those throws you try to gain you try to get the warrants so that's for reputation guys and how what about the leveling itself well for leveling first of all after you finish the first act guys you can uh, access the 
uh, forgotten gods content and in order to reach the mammoth content you have to finish the game completely i mean the main campaign oh, uh, only after that you can reach the uh, ashes of mammoth content so oops there are some very nice uh, additions so first of all guys this npc uh, allows you transfer iron bits between your characters so he sells you uh, iron bars and those iron bars can be exchanged for iron bits on this merchant again so for example guys i buy 20 bars for 1 million i put it in the common stash i grab it with from the common stash with another character and i convert it to iron bits for 1 million again so there is no loss 1 per 1 ratio I mean you do not pay 1 million and get 900k you get 1 million for 1 million uh, that's nice so okay this NPC is very important guys Oscar and that's our wonderful item guys Savior is made cost 125k and it unlocks ultimate difficulty it unlocks uh, all rift gates on normal and elite it unlocks all attribute and skill reward uh, quests uh, on normal and elite and also gives us all of the five bonus inventory expansions this item is extremely good guys of course because for example there is a quest line that uh, sends you to homestead from a very far distance you have to cross like five maps in order to get there and boom you teleport to homestead and that's it uh, saves you a lot of time this is wondrous See you and guys uh, there is also in the mesh uh, ashes of mammoth content you go to the mammoth resistance base in the sewers the one in the sewers works as well you have to have revered reputation for this you like. and boom this extreme potion guys 100 percent xp gain this is very very good of course so you buy that and you buy like 10 of these potions i mean your reputation is maxed uh, you gain uh, two and a half times faster reputation with these mandates you gain double xp uh, you can skip everything that's related to running to waypoints because you have uh, all the rift gates and guys you don't have to do the temple of the hidden blah blah quest that gives skip points because the uh, item that lets you skip to ultimate gives you all of those points anyway and we have one final ingredient guys that's gear so there are there is some gear uh, that gives you bonus xp uh, i'm sure you you've seen the medals that give you bonus xp gain and there are some leggings and chests out there that give you a bit of xp bonus but uh, those all have level requirements of course thing is guys mm, there are two items actually there is an item and a set item of sets item set that give you bonus xp first one is the gazer man uh, the gazer man gives you 15 percent xp bonus plus one to all skills a nice amount of resistances but sadly offensive and defensive boot penalties and armor penalties so you can equip this at level one that's good and there is a better version there is the low car set here let me show you locars helmet locars chest locars mantle locars boots as you can see guys all of these give a nice bit of resistances uh, health offensive ability all of it and there's no level requirement here there is a level requirement on this one but that's because of the component in there its level requirement is one as well and the full set also gives you 
plus 1 total skills and 40% XP gain guys this set is insane for leveling I mean you can get really far but after some point 70s or 80s uh, depends on your character depends how tough your character is your armor starts to lag right because as you can see the armor value is 10 and take a look at my stuff they have 1k armor value here so you become very fragile after some point but it's pretty good and there is this ring i haven't seen this ring anywhere i mean uh, uh, the, i saw it nowhere in the guides for leveling so this one is acquired in here let me show you i think it was here yes so guys you get to temple of osir and you go here to the north let me show you i found this quite by chance by the way i mean uh, i saw it i didn't see it mentioned anywhere this is an ultimate difficulty i think guys i have tried on lower difficulties okay you get here so guys okay we are here and there is actually a secret here we could as you can see there is an arch here and you can pass below this arch hidden refuge there is a devotion shrine here which you can restore and guys there is an urn here i have it on this character so i cannot see it but there is an urn here and when you break that urn that ring drops so and as you saw guys it's a very good overall ring 15% uh, to all damage so it doesn't matter if you are playing elemental damage chaos damage vitality damage or physical damage 15% all damage and 24% uh, element resistance and 3% xp gain uh, i haven't seen xp gain on drinks so that's great and also guys at level 15 or so you can craft a medal are medals here no probably here then no medal no maybe okay it was here so guys you can craft this uh, and this scales if you craft this with a level 15 character uh, and this one the enchanted medal uh, it gives you a level 15 medal and i think 15 is lowest so and these give three to five percent xp gain bonus so that's quite a bit of xp two rings give you three percent each locar set gives you 40 percent and this metal gives you another three percent and the uh, potion gives you a hundred percent guys the xp gain is insane it, it's very fast and because of the uh, because of the savior's merit you also don't have to run to waypoints because you already have the waypoints and it goes really fast when you're leveling so is there anything i want to to mention other than this there's the xp potion and when you're leveling guys uh, in elite difficulty you will start to realize that your leveling gear if you're using that xp gear starts to lack a bit uh, and that's where you should start considering at least putting some cheap components and um, augments in your gear augments are really cheap a few k uh, bits but you need the reputation most of the decent augments require revered with the faction but like i said with if it's your second character if you are leveling with the ritz the leveling process is really fast you should have enough reputation you should have the highest reputation level 
by the time you finish elite if you didn't skip that faction of course uh, and try to have try to have all max resist i mean it will be harder in elite but uh, at least try to have all resistance at a decent level guys and instead of uh, capping everything and uh, keeping one resistance at base level try to get everything at a nicer level because guys the thing is if you have zero or negative resistance in even in one resistance whenever you encounter that type of damage you are in a world of trouble i mean death will be a very common common occurrence when i was leveling my first character uh, my poison was in the negatives for a good long while and i didn't remedy that for, and for example guys uh, i ran over a poison pool and i was half xp in one second because of my negative resistance the poison pool does huge damage and whenever i encountered poison monsters it was horrible horrible so then i went and bought the augments and then all was fine of course you can take into account uh, buffs that you can keep at 100 percent for example i have the uh, blood of drig now and blood of drig as you can see has 12 second reach charge and 30 second duration guys this means i can keep it up for as long as i like so that's why i take it into account and uh, it gives uh, it gives a lot of uh, poison and acid resistance as you can see here 100 percent so when i do it it is kept right so uh, try to have everything kept and like i said you can use some cheap components uh, everything except the relic can have a component and, a, and an augment on it medals uh, were not able to get any uh, augments up until recently before the uh, release of forgotten gods but now they can also take augments uh, most augments i'm not sure about them all but the, the augments on the, the medals give you mobility skills most of the time so that's an additional mobility skill there so and guys as for obtaining them by the way i'll have one last word in Safe storage. okay these the gazer man and the lokar set are obtained from powerful monsters uh, that you can reach with secret quests uh, there are nice guides for them and the problem is guys this one i mean definitely have a character that is at level 100 and is a relatively strong build and make sure you are able to finish the game <clears throat> uh, i mean as a as a way of checking out because these bosses that drop these are hard i mean the drop rate is 100 percent guys that's not a problem getting there is a slight problem it takes a little bit of time but there are excellent guides out there for gazer man and the lokar set uh, but killing is another problem guys this fight i'm not going to give any spoilers for those of you who want to witness it themselves but uh, in this fight there's a boss and he keeps uh, gathering clones i mean he keeps so many clones and the fight is quite tough i mean getting this is not very easy and this one is even worse uh, there are a lot of decent characters out there i mean it's a powerful build powerful gear and there are a lot of characters out there who cannot kill this boss guys this boss is very hard uh, he is classified as a super boss lokar very very hard to kill uh, i managed to kill him 
using consumables, a lot of potions, blah, blah. And I mean, I was able to survive for like 15 or 20 seconds, maybe. And I managed to kill him in those 15 to 20 seconds, barely every time I fought him. So uh, the damage is huge. His HP is huge. I mean, the Lokara is harder than the end game boss. Uh, the end bosses of the expansions as well so getting this set is not very easy but uh, it is very much worth for example guys if I start a new character now and I only found about these rings very recently I mean it will probably take like eight to nine hours to be related to be um, to reach level 100 I mean after you know it goes very great and as you can see guys uh, this leaves room for some gear I mean, you have the four armors here the two rings here so you need an amulet uh, right a glove uh, legs belt a metal like I said you can craft the metal yourself and there's also a relic which you, you can obtain afterwards so guys one more tip by the way i forgot about it you can save some slit rings uh, for starter but thing is guys if you are using the save is merit to reach ultimate difficulty there is one nice move you start the game uh, as you know you cannot access the stash before you do the first quest you go to the burial hill you kill the reanimator there, go back to town and finish that quest. And after that, uh, let me show you here. John Bourbon allows you to get inside, right? And when you get inside, there's actually an NPC here, which you talk to that allows you in. That actually is a quest, guys, and gives you XP normally it's of course negligible and very small but thing is after you uh, have access to the stash that unlocks for all difficulties so uh, you do the quest in normal come here uh, complete this quest reach the stash and also guys talking to the spirit guide is also a quest she's not here right now but talking to spirit guide also counts as a quest completion and gives you xp as well you leave the game, you restart the game in Elite, thanks to the Savior's Merit. You immediately talk to the NPC there. He allows you stash access, boom, level 10, guys. The XP, because it's Elite, the XP is much, much higher. And you can just do it right away, anyway. Then you talk to the Spirit Guide, you are level 11 or 12. Then you go to Ultimate. Uh, you do it again. And by the time you finish this, you would be level 15 or 16 depends on your xp gear and potion of course guys i mean if you drink the 100 percent xp potion you will be higher if you have the locker gear if you have these bonus gears uh, it will be much higher so you start at like 15 or 16 which is nice and then guys i suggest going through normal and you can go through elite as well the leveling will be much faster but Thing is, guys, the 100% XP portion mm, wears off when you die. And it costs 40k iron bits, so it's not very, very cheap. And if you are trying to level in Elite, deaths will be pretty often because your resistance will be bad and the monsters in Elite will be much, much tougher, of course. So, at your own risk. I did it in normal, but I just rushed through normal guys. I only did the side quests that are uh, very good. I mean, go there and kill one monster, which is not very far off anyway, and get the XP. I did those. The rest I skipped. So finish normal. By the time you are 50 or so, you can get a nice relic. And there are some low level relics guys like this one, level 18 only. And it gives you a usability that gives you a 100% damage bonus. And there is the bigger brother, 50. And then you can switch to your 
real relic afterwards and guys uh, by the way it was a bit risky and hard but i actually managed to level with locar set up until level 94 uh, and level 94 is the highest level requirement in the game which means you can equip everything at level 94 if you are trying to get a completely good build guys i mean with complete gear you will need a huge huge amount of crafted items for example guys for my gear this is crafted obviously all relics are crafted this weapon is crafted this amulet is crafted i think that's about it but that's still quite a lot guys i mean if i was missing all uh, that would be a problem uh, the good thing about this build guys is the this dark one set that i'm using i will make a special video on the build uh, that drops from the area that ha that contains locar so when you're farming locar for this set you are also farming the dark one set which gives you a dark one set eventually so and i had a few more of the items so i went for this build i will explain this build's details in another video so that's about it for leveling guys if you have any uh, comments suggestions i mean uh, if there is a good amulet with a low level requirement and that gives xp bonus or something like that uh, feel free to add your feedback see ya bye bye